Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to start talking about Niagara and audio in Unreal 4. Specifically, we're going to talk about the Play Audio module in this video. So to get this started, I'm going to create an emitter from an empty blank template. And then we'll give it a name, NE, whatever you want to call it. And then let's go and set this up. So to set this up, the first thing I'm going to do is add a spawn burst instantaneous to emitter update. We'll set it pretty low to something like three. And then I want to give this an area to spawn it. So in particle spawn, I'm going to give this a sphere location and we can leave that at default. Now we should have three particles spawning in, in a sphere in different areas. Now in particle update, I'm going to add some velocity. And we need to add solve forces and velocity to make this work. And now in the Z, I'm going to make this negative three. And for the last step in initialized particle, we're going to change the sprite size mode to uniform. And 10 should be fine. Maybe we'll make them a little bigger. We'll make them 30. And that should be fine. Now for the different audio modules, we can use them in particle spawn or particle update but I'm going to come to particle spawn first. I'm going to click on the plus icon and you should see a category for audio. And then you should have play audio. Now, whenever you add any of these audio modules, you're going to notice that there's this blue experimental mode. Now this just means that they're most likely not ready for production. So I haven't ran into any issues yet, but it's not recommended for production. So I'm going to click on dismiss issue. And now, we can see that there's the sound to play. You can use either a sound cue or a sound wave. There's attenuation, so this is your fall off. And then concurrency, I typically look at this as an optimization. Now going a little further down, we have play audio. It's basically asking what's the condition that you want to play this sound? When do you want to play it? And then do you want to play it once per particle or do you want it to be able to play more than once? The audio playback position, by default, this is set to the particle's position, so it'll sound like it's coming from there. What's the coordinate space that you want it in? And then, of course, we have pitch, volume, and start time. Maybe you want to start your audio a little bit later. So let's go and add something to our sound to play. And I'm going to use something random here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use compile start sound cue. And we'll just save that. And now the thing is, audio won't actually play inside of the emitter editor or the system editor. You know, if you just play this back, you're not going to hear anything. So we need to actually go and create a Niagara system and go and place that in the world to hear it. So I'm going to go and create my Niagara system and we'll just name it correctly really quick. So it says NS and then let's go and drag this out into the world. So we'll just pull it out here and we should be hearing audio, right? but not quite. So if we come back to our Niagara emitter, we have this play audio. And once again, if we open up our parameters window and we look at the particle attributes, we can see that this play audio is a bull, right? It's the condition that we will play audio. So this tells me that there's a good chance that the play audio by default is set to false. So if we go and take this play audio and drag it in above play audio, above the play audio module, we're going to get a set and we can see that it's set to false. But if we set this to true and we save this, we just minimize this and we'll just save our Niagara system too, just in case. And right away you can hear that there's an audio cue now. There we go. And if we come back and we just turn our play audio to false and save it, it should stop. Now, because we know that we have this play audio condition, we can base this off of many other conditions. So say that we wanted to play a sound based on collision. Well, first things first, we need to have collision. So in particle update, I'm going to add collision and we'll make sure that it's above solve forces and velocity. And now for our play audio to access that condition, to be able to add a condition here, it needs to be below collision. So we're going to take it and put it in particle update and put it below collision. And now in the play audio, we're going to change this. We'll type in collision. And now you could do has collided, but 
you can also do collision valid. So I'm going to do collision valid and I'll make sure that my set play audio is set to true again and we'll save this. We'll make sure our Niagara system saved and now let's go take a look. So we heard it go once, but it's only happening on the first collision. So if we come back and take a look and we click on our play audio, you'll see that we have play once per particle. So if we turn this off and we save it, now the audio is going to play every time it collides. <laughs> Perfect. That was great. All right, guys, this should be a good starting point for audio in Niagara. But if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.